Again, another question from a friend. What do you think are the major challenges to the church and the Christian message in the light of the current legislation on the redefinition of marriage? Yeah, I mean, obviously huge issues there. Um, and there's no way we can lay them all out tonight. I, I do want to say a word about a word. Um, when anybody, pressure groups, governments, civilizations, suddenly change the meaning of key words, you really should watch out. If you go to a German dictionary and just open it at random, you may well see several German words which have a little square bracket saying NS, meaning National, National Socialist or Nazi, that the Nazis gave those words a certain meaning. Um, in post-1917 Russia, um, there were whole c categories of people who were called former persons because by the communist dictate, diktat, um, they had ceased to be relevant for the state. And once you call them former persons, it was extremely easy to ship them off somewhere and, and, and have them killed. In the same way, there was a letter in the Times Lits up just a few weeks ago saying that when we're talking about assisted suicide or something like that, we shouldn't actually use words like suicide and killing and, and those sort of words yeah. because those imply that you shouldn't do it, whereas now our civilization is saying that sure. maybe there, there are reasons for that. And I find that sort of stuff chilling, the attempt to change a bit of an ideology, an ideology within a culture by changing the language. Now, the word marriage for thousands of years and cross-culturally has meant man and woman. Sometimes it's been one man and more than one woman. Sometimes, occasionally, it's been one woman and more than one man. There's, there's certain polyandry as well as polygamy in some societies and in some parts of history. But it's always been male plus female. Um, simply to say that you can have a woman plus woman marriage or a man plus man marriage is radically to change that because of the givenness of maleness and femaleness. Yes. And I would say that without any particular Christian presuppositions at all, just cross-culturally that's so, um, with Christian or Jewish presuppositions, or indeed Muslim, then if you believe in what it says in Genesis 1 about the coming, about God making heaven and earth. And the, the binaries in Genesis 1 are so important that, that heaven and earth, and then the sea and dry land, and so on and so on, and you end up with male and female. And these, it's all about God making complementary pairs which are meant to work together. And the last scene in the Bible is um, the new heaven and new earth, and the symbol for that is yeah. the marriage of Christ and his church. So this stuff, it's not just one or two verses here and there which say this or that. It's an entire narrative yes. which works with this complementarity so that a, a male plus female marriage is a signpost or a, a signal about the goodness of the original creation and God's intention for the eventual new heavens and new earth. If you say that marriage now means something which would allow other such configurations, um, what you're saying is actually that when we marry a man and a woman, we're not actually doing any of that stuff. This is just a convenient social arrangement, a social and a sexual arrangement, and there it is, get on with it. And uh, it seems to me that that, it, it, it's interesting, it isn't that, I think, that is the downgrading of marriage. It's something that has gone on clearly for some time, which is now poking its head above the parapet. Absolutely. Um, that if that's what you thought marriage meant, then clearly we haven't done a very good job in society as a whole, in the church in particular, in teaching about just what a wonderful mystery marriage is supposed That's to be. So, I mean, simply at that level, sure. I, think, I think it's a nonsense. It's like a government voting that black, black should be white. Um, you know, sorry, yeah. you could vote that if you like, you can pass it by a total majority, but it isn't actually going to change the reality. Yeah. 